everyone. My name is Dimitris Papelis, and today I will present my work on the modeling and behavior implications of within day travel dynamics. Let's imagine of our typical daily traveling. We come up with a pre-day schedule, essentially a chain of activities and trips that we need to perform. However, things don't always come out as planned. There are various exogenous factors that could lead us to deviate from our pre-day plan, whether this is weather conditions or congestion, or even our own faulty perception of anticipated travel times. Especially in a post-pandemic world with increasing remote capabilities, it is apparent that the performed within-day choice can significantly differ from the pre-day plan. This observation is magnified from the emergence of travel recommendation systems, journey planners, Google Maps, and mobility services that give access to live information. Thus, although in traditional transportation research, the focus would be on creating the most realistic and accurate pre-day plans, as for instance in activity-based models, there is a need for integrated modeling frameworks. From a behavioral perspective, this phenomena of adaptation and reevaluation of choices are typically associated with a significant resistance to change. Traditional economics are grounded on the concept of rational expectation, where we assume that the individual is aware and processes the variety of information around her, but switching behavior comes with utility costs, the cost of change, and that we observe this delay and sluggishness in responses and actions. In recent years, there has been a rising interest in the rational and attention theory, originally developed by Christopher Schentz. The argument is that individuals rationally choose to make seemingly suboptimal choices due to the cost of acquiring and processing available information. It is bridging concepts from information theory to choice modeling. To explore this phenomenon for the scope of this study, data collection was part of a wider travel survey with the Harmony Research Project and utilized a smartphone-based application, the Mobi app, to track the habitual activity and trip patterns of the participants over the course of five days. This RP data were combined with a state adaptation experiment aiming to capture the process of within-day re-evaluation and day-to-day -day learning on specific hypothetical scenarios. The RPSP methodology was applied in the municipalities of Turin and Oxfordshire, which led to the collection of more than 8,000 observations. The methodology selected was discrete choice analysis, where I developed a dynamic hybrid discrete choice model in the Biogym software. The framework accounts for interpersonal heterogeneity and led to some key behavioral findings. Also, a latent variable was measured through a series of attitudinal statements where I defined the concept of adaptive travelers, which can be described from various sociodemographic characteristics. The real-world impact of the modeling framework is threefold. First of all, such models can be useful for transport planners and authorities for demand prediction when planning interventions that will imbalance the typical transportation network conditions. In addition, knowing the probability of adaptation and the characteristics of adaptive travelers is useful for the personalization of recommendation systems to generate menu sets that are tailored to the traveler's needs. Finally, such models can find practical application in increasing the accuracy and realism of agent-based transport emission simulation software. I would like to conclude with the words of Herbert Simon, one of the fathers of decision-making analysis and bounded rationality. Richness in information means poverty of our attention. Therefore, to utilize this wealth of information and increase our well-being, we need to allocate it efficiently among the available sources. The theory of rational inattention, which is the focus of my final PhD chapter, is an opportunity to include this information constraints and study their implications in travel behavior and transport economics in general. Thank you.